Good morning, guys. It's Trisha Ray Stall with a fat and happy vlog. Um, my hair is wet because I'm rushing out of the house. Tomorrow is Tyler's 21st birthday, which is really exciting. Um, God, I remember my 21st birthday, and I will not talk about it on my vlog. Um, <laughs> suffice to say, I wasn't disappointed. Um, and I don't want Tyler to be disappointed. His girlfriend's been working really hard to make sure it's a special birthday. So I'm going to sneak out. They're leaving in about an hour to go meet some friends and go out for dinner and then have drinks at midnight and uh, on to party until the bars close. Um, however, I need to sneak out and grab one of his last minute gifts and I'm confident he's not going to watch this vlog before he goes out tonight and before, before I want him to see it because, you know, he's just not that dedicated to watch or he's going to take a day or two to, to watch my vlogs. <laughs> um, Anyhow, I'm off to, I'm not going to tell you where I'm going just in case he does watch, but uh, if I see anything interesting, I'll let you guys uh, check it out. Look, I got the shaft with me. Shafters! There's Shaft. He's, uh, he's on the party train, so here we go, guys. Vlog number 13 I missed yesterday. Sorry. Ooh, I was tired. Okay. Look at those clouds, guys, and the mountains today. It is a beautiful, clear day in Pasadena, California. My goodness, I am blessed to be seeing this gorgeous day. Guys, I got, oh, oh I am recording good. I got Tyler his uh, gift, and I found a couple unexpected gifts, and then I stopped and picked him up an adult beverage to go along with it because it's just tradition. Um, and uh, everything's going good, so uh, I still haven't seen much of interest out here, but if I do, I I'll clue you in. Right, if you can see, for the Rose Parade already. So the Rose Parade is uh, down Colorado Street in Pasadena every year. It's a nationwide event. And uh, we are lucky enough to live really close to it. So I attended last year for the first time and it was really fun. We actually went out for New Year's Eve and partied on the streets with everybody. And this year you'll be with me. And it is a blast. So. Anyways, just showing you guys how gorgeous it is and how Pasadena is getting ready for the Rose Parade already. Talk to you guys later. Things about being fat and happy is I don't allow people to make me feel guilty for eating the foods I want to eat. Um, driving so good for you guys now. So anyhow, I try my best to um, eat healthy during the week. I go through years where I'm eating. Oh, you're really dark, guys. Okay, so better. Okay, there we go. I'll go through years where I'm really uh, eating healthy and dropping weight, and then I'll go through years where I just cannot get myself on track as far as eating healthy. So um, right now I've been doing really good. I've been eating really healthy during the week, and then I allow Saturdays for myself to get treated for something that, you know, if I want something bad during the week, I can have it. I just can't have, um, I just can't do that frequently. So I really try to save any kind of special treat for myself for Saturday. So it's Saturday, and I'm about to go through a drive through not for myself, actually. Though I'll probably get something for lunch. Um, I'm going to go through a drive through for Tyler and try to grab him a quick snack before he goes out. They're taking the, the train down to uh, where they're going to meet their friends in, I think they're going to Koreatown or Little Tokyo. I don't know, something. Um, anyhow, uh, he, he loves this one drive through place that just opened up across from our house. So I'm going to go buy him a real quick snack from there. Um, but the point is, is that... <clears throat> Don't be embarrassed to eat either. And skinny women are embarrassed to eat too. For God's sake, people. We have to eat to survive. Some people make you feel bad about eating, and even if you're treating yourself, they don't know your life, they don't know your business, they don't know how hard you've tried. <sighs> Whatever. I was watching a um, couple of videos this morning about a really overweight gentleman who lived in Great Britain, and I guess they have like, you know, universal health care. And everybody was complaining, like, let him die, burn that thing, kill him because he's fat to the point where he couldn't leave his home and he needed uh, surgeries to survive. But the taxpayers, some of the taxpayers, were complaining that they should just let him die because he's useless space. How can people say that about another human being? How do you know what he means to his family? You know, you don't always need your body to bring great things to this world. There's been people who don't have arms and legs who bring great things to this world. So how do you know this gentleman from his home wasn't able to contribute to the world in some kind of way? This is just, it really broke my heart to see that 
they could sit there and say die to a guy because he'd gained a lot of weight and, and was bedridden. Uh, God, you just don't know somebody else's struggle. The people who think that way are the ones, in my mind, who have a greater problem. So don't let anyone make you feel bad for eating, guys. Do your best to eat healthy. All of us should do our best to eat healthy and, you know, stay active for our loved ones, for ourselves, and to be on this earth longer and accomplish things that we're meant to accomplish. But don't let other people force you into doing what they want you to do because of the image they have in their mind of how you should be. You know, do you, do the best you can do, and just love yourself. <laughs> Back on my soapbox, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.